Hi, welcome back to me and Monami and to a special Product Wednesday. Now, if you are a regular viewer of this channel, you'll know we like to look at weird, wonderful, exotic, innovative, experiential products, not just for the Citroen and me, but for our lives in general. Now, a few weeks ago, I happened to do a video about how hot it gets in here. And I was using this, this, this gun, do you remember, a heat gun? And it was telling us which bits of the car were nuclear hot and which bits were just hot. Well, after that video, a company called Top Don got in touch with us. If you remember, Top Don, Top Don supplied us with our jump starter, which was a, a, a portable power bank which you could then use to, uh, to jumpstart the 12 volt battery, not the traction battery of a Citroen ME. Very useful thing, we carry it around all the time. We've used it on Mr. Boo's motorbike. We lent it to a, a guy down the street the other day to, to, to jump his own car. Um, anyway, Top Don got in touch and they said, would you like to test our latest thermal imaging camera? Well, I didn't know what one was, so I said, yes. <laughs> If you're a big fan of 90s TV detective drama, you probably do know what a thermal imaging camera is because these things are always used in detective dramas and they're actually used in real life, in police scenarios, in fire scenarios. So, uh, take a That's probably the hot spot is. When you're trying to, to find someone in the woods, if you've lost someone in the, in the bushes and it's dark, well, you could put one of these in and, um, and discover where they are. So what is it? Well, let's have a look. Um, it's a very, very neat, compact thing that I've been trying out over the last uh, couple of weeks. And I have to say, I've had quite a lot of fun with it. And I've also found some really interesting uses, some of which I think could well save you quite a lot of money um, in, in your daily life. So first thing to say about this thermal imaging camera is that it attaches to your smartphone. How clever is that? Here you have it. You just take out your phone, you stick it in your lightning or your USB-C, whichever you've got, and Bob's your uncle, fan is your aunt. The next thing you do, this is the only other thing you have to do, is via the uh, uh, QR code on the side, on the back of the device, you just download an app. Uh, the Top Don app. I happen to have already done it, of course, because I've been testing it out so you don't have to. Um, and uh, here we go. Here is the Top Don app. And that basically then turns this and your phone as the computer into a complete thermal imaging system. There you go. It's in the phone. You're good to go. What are you going to use a thermal imaging camera for? Well, First off, you might say, do a thermal image of your Citroen ME. You might use it to work out where the super hot spots are, or you might use it to work out in winter where the drafts are coming, where you might need some me and Monami draft excluders. Check out our website for those. But seriously, there are lots of places. Well, that is serious. It's a very serious product. There are lots of places on this car which allows in the, uh, the cold and which you could bung up with a product maybe with a bit of gaffer tape. So you could use it for that. Just be aware that if you're actually thermal imaging a reflective surface, you'll get a slightly faint reading because it bounces back. So what you have to do in that case is perhaps just put a bit of tape on it. But you can get a complete thermal image of a Citroen ME or of any other car. Of course, you can also use it in the home. Now, if you were to go around your living room, your attic, your kitchen, any, any of the rooms in your house, and use this to video them, what you can then see is where the heat is escaping in winter. You can see where the drafts are coming in. You can see where your money is quite literally flying out the door or under the door or round the curtains. Um, so, you know, this thing can tell you where you need to insulate. So on that level, it is gonna save you money. Um, and I think you can probably see in some of the B-roll I've shot here, it's, it really becomes quite fascinating when you use it. You go, oh my God, look how much draft is coming in there. Or look how much heat that um, ice maker is giving out and warming up the whole place. Maybe if we moved it, maybe if we put it somewhere else, life would be better. Um, 
you can also use it as i said on people now not just to detect people in the dark in your bushes in your garden but you can use it to actually check the temperature of somebody so if you've got a temperature you can see literally on your face that the temperature is there and you can get a reading you can similarly use it on animals because you know well nobody likes sticking a thermometer up a chihuahua's jacksy but with this and neither does the chihuahua i should point out twiggy's not a fan um, with this you can actually see a reading to see whether the, the dog has got or is running a temperature um, and uh, it, it's quite fun to do the other thing you can do with this and i think this is particularly useful is you can use it to detect water leaks even at the beginning of say a water leak because if you're to do a shot of a wall and you suddenly see a cold spot well, try and then work out why there is this cold spot on the image. And it may be that perhaps you've just got this very, very slow leak that, of course, slow leaks become fast leaks eventually, and they cost. And, of course, the earlier you can catch a leak, the better you are. So it's very, very useful in that kind of situation. Similarly, you can use it to detect where wiring is in a wall because the wiring will probably be at a hotter temperature. You can also use it on other products. We, we were uh, looking at our thermal um, uh, portable cooler the other day with it and seeing how that cooler actually cooled the inside of the fridge, where the bars were that were, that were getting cool, where the hot spots were, where it was actually giving out heat. If you've got an um, electronic object that's failed, you may well be able to work out from the thermal imaging camera which area there has been a failure in because if all the rest of them are glowing red um, you know producing some kind of current and going through it and then suddenly you see this gap it may well be you go hang on the fuse has gone there or this bit's gone there or that's become unwired but of course builders engineers etc plumbers have been using thermal imaging technology forever people use thermal imaging technology to detect water leaks in the road so you know it is very practical now these things used to be super expensive they were only for professionals but of course like many things in life they've become much much cheaper and the electronics have become much cheaper and if you check out the link in our description there may well be a special offer associated with this um, it's not a giveaway price at any means but uh, for a thermal imaging camera with a pretty high resolution this is the interesting thing it's quite a high resolution uh, then i think it's it's quite a good deal and as i say it may be something you never thought you'd need but it may be something that actually if you had it in your kit bag could over a year over a winter save you quite a lot of money and uh, you'd have an awful lot of fun detecting where the drafts are coming from and no it doesn't detect those kind of drafts contrary to popular opinion anyway if you've enjoyed this video please give us a like please give us a comment and remember everyone stay charged